show you a little trick how to improve your water pressure in your faucet. So I'm gonna turn this one on right here. show you a trick sometimes this happen this little thing here what this is is uh, if your water line is dirty say for instance you have old galvanized pipe or whatever the case may be that you may have and it has debris inside of it this catches the debris but sometimes it catches so much that it clogs. And when it clogs, sometimes you may have the water coming out like this. And you probably turn it all the way. That's not the case now, but you turn it all the way. However, this one, the pressure is not bad. But I could get a little bit more, just a little bit more. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this piece out right here. I'm going to take this piece out right here. And if you look, this is what I'm talking about. See this little mesh thing here? Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Sometimes this thing catches so much debris that it blocks up and it, basically the water just don't run. But however, if you look further, I don't think you guys could be able to see it, but see that black ring that's in the center? What that is, it's a, um, it's a rubber. I don't know what they put it there for. I don't know, maybe they put it there to reduce the pressure but that's what we're going to take out so first we got to take off this outer washer Ooh, where did it go okay I take out this outer washer and then use a pin I'm just using this because this is the closest thing I found right now use this pin and try to remove this Just be careful not to damage it. Wait, before you do that, turn it over. Use your finger, push this out. Right here. That comes out. Then try to hold this gently. Hold this gently. Poke this gently and it should pop up. Once this pops up, then you take this, you go in here, and this little black ring, you poke it, pop it out then you put that over there You're not gonna need that anymore so now you take this and you put it back in here make sure it fits back nice take this and put it back in here also Make sure that fits nicely. Hear that clip, okay. That means it's back. Then you're gonna take this now, upside down, put this in, and see, it's back to normal. Now you take the washer. This is important, you have to make sure this fits back nicely in here or else it's going to start spraying. 
Now once that's done, see, just like how we took it out, back together, you take it, and you put it back up under here, take your time, you don't want to cross thread it, before you fully tighten with your hands, do a little test run, okay, it's not leaking on the sides. Then you fully tighten. Then now you're gonna turn on the code. Full blast. See it? That's the difference. Look at the difference now. This is just the cold water only. You see the pressure I'm getting? This is the pressure I'm getting right here from the cold water. Now I'm gonna turn on the hot water. And look at the difference. See that? Big difference. And you can feel it. You can definitely feel more pressure of water coming out just by doing that. So that will be did is for many reasons. You can increase your water pressure like that if it's not coming out hard enough or if it's not coming out at all. Those are normally the reasons as to why your faucet may not be operating the way it's supposed to. So, see, that's totally different. And then we did this one also. See that? The water pressure is completely balanced between both faucets. See that? Even. Alright. So that's a quick tip from Hibby Network. See you guys again.